We talk about the topic of equality today. So, we live in a society whereby to point out the truth is an affront. People get offended because they're always in their feelings. And what the truth does is it highlights the disparity of having and not having. Okay. Having and not having is not just about money. And I'm not referring... Yeah, money can be part of it, but I'm not referring exclusively to money in this video. Equality. Let's really talk about something equal is basically at par with each other. Now... People's jealousy knows no bounds. Knows no bounds. You can easily die for it. They People have no shame. They'll kill somebody. They'll rob someone. They'll rape someone. Because jealousy, I'm going to talk about this equality myth that people have. And how jealousy factors into it. And how it really works. Okay. So you've got people who want to tell themselves. Because somewhere, somehow, deep down, they feel inadequate and inferior. Now, as I've said in many of my videos, life is not about money, it's about status. People don't, they're not really bothered, right? Such and such as such a thing could happen, but they're status indicators, basically. Status indicators are generally, for the most part, material, but sometimes they're not as well, okay? So, what do, does the average person, or what is the average person conditioned to value? Uh, a big house, an expensive car... Um, eating out, expensive clothes, expensive vacations, um, maybe like experiences or things, things normal people can't really get to because of finances, because of education, so on and so forth. So henceforth, there is no equality. If one person can afford to take a 50,000 all expenses paid inclusive trip to somewhere and the other person can't, how does that make them equal? But people don't want to have this conversation because they know deep down, they know the truth deep down. Deep down, we always know the truth. So we will do everything with our ego to try and circumvent that truth, to try and not face that truth, to try and do this, to try and do that. I will use beauty as an example. An attractive woman and an, an, an average basic looking woman, no equality. If people want to ask me why, it's because when you're attractive... Um, men roll out the red carpet for you. You can have other experiences. You can have people are nasty to you. They try to humiliate you. I've experienced a lot of that in my life. Because beauty for a woman is her biggest power. It opens doors that nothing else can open. She may not even have the money. She may not have anything, but she has, she has a face. She, look, she looks great. Her body's great. She looks good. You'd be amazed what you can get just by looking good. You'd be amazed how good people can treat you just by presenting yourself well, which some women will take the advantage and say, okay, well, that makes sense. Actually, I should maintain myself. I'll get better treatment. Some women get resentful and say, why don't people accept me for what they are? I guess it's like a gift. Why are people more excited about gift wrapping than they are about a newspaper wrapped on top of it? It's common sense. So when people like to lie to you that there is such a thing called equality, there is no such thing as equality. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist because in the world, we have a hierarchy based on a pyramid. The apex, the top of the pyramid, and you guys know where I'm going with this, right? Will be a rich family, good looks, the ability, upward mobility, so you can travel a lot, money, um, a good body, good health, basic good health is up there on the pyramid. Not everybody can afford good health. That's why people get so jealous when you begin shedding weight and you look good and people start giving you attention. Um, and I have this conversation with somebody I know years ago. And I said, why are women... And I asked him, it was a guy. And I said, why are women so after having big boobs? Like, what, what is it? Like, obviously we know, like, they get attention. He's like, power. You have power over men. <laughs> Everything is about power and status. People don't want to admit this because they want to carry on whatever nonsense is going on inside their head. Whatever um, lies they love to tell themselves to comfort themselves. Most people's... I have a friend and we've often laughed. He was driving my car and I still remember we were on the motorway and he was laughing and he said, you know, most people... <sighs> 
they got contingent they don't have a contingency for anything and i said most people's life is one big contingency <laughs> they don't know where they're going in life that's basically it right and we were him and i were having this discussion as he was driving my car and he said you know um it's just so amazing that people can't see reality for what it is and i said you know, everybody can see reality for what it is. They just don't want to admit that's reality. A handsome man is going to get more women than a basic looking guy. He, in fact, the handsome man doesn't even have to try very hard because his looks are his personality. You'd be amazed. Like, oh, it's only money that attracts women. No, not necessarily. <laughs> you, you haven't seen the world enough. So when we talk about this apex pyramid, People on a daily basis, especially men, men are in a lot of pain because of status, anxiety, money, power, can they dominate somebody, do they have the bigger house, do they have the better wife, you know, everything. So they, they lose the real happiness inside. Now we're going to talk about a little bit about jealousy in this video. People are going to exhibit all types of jealousy when they're insecure that you have the very thing that they don't have. Jealousy can be of anything. Beauty, status, money, power, confidence, intelligence, uh, academic ability, uh, you drive a better car, you live better, anything. In, in today's world, it's, it's become crazy because of social media. Everybody's obsessed with showing their lifestyle because they want to make, they want to make sure that they show people, yes, I can afford it. Yes, I can afford to eat that. Yes, I can afford to go there. Yes, I can do this. Yes, I can do that. They're not sharing their life because they want to share their life with people. They're sharing their life to make a point of status. People who sit in first class and take pictures, it's status. They want to show you, oh, look, I can afford this. Hence, I'm better than you because on the pyramid, remember, the higher you are on the pyramid, the, 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 the more aspirational people will look up at you because they're aspiring to be where you are. So equality is a myth. Equality really doesn't exist. Why? Because if equality existed, jealousy wouldn't exist. And people's jealousy in today's world, most people are mentally deranged. They're not well in the head. So many, many people are psychologically not there. They have become narcissistic, very sociopathic. We live in that type of world. We live in an instant gratification world where if somebody's eating better than you, you hate them. They look better than you, you hate them. They make more money than you, you hate them. They have a better body than you, you hate them. There is just this whole cycle of insecurity and inferiority. On the pyramid, you are going to feel inferior to those you deem. It may not be the case, but those you deem that are on top of the pyramid. They have more access to better things than you. Any, anything. I go back to beauty. Women spend millions globally to look a certain way. Because first of all, we know, we, and this is, um, you don't need any scientific experiment for it. You don't need anything. I know how well I've, I can be treated just by making effort as opposed to not having anything on my face or just going out like in my night clothes. Not, not that I say, not that I'm saying I would. But people need to understand this, that people will value you when you value yourself. Value and status goes hand in hand. Most people are delusional. They don't want to accept that they might be bottom of the pyramid. Because it doesn't make them feel good egotistically. But if there is something that you know that people are pointing out, attacking you, it's because in that area, bottom of the pyramid. And you have to be honest with yourself and say, I want to clean this shit up. You'll, why, why, why are the rich never attacked in a way that, yes, they're attacked because of jealousy, they're attacked because of, well, they can afford a better lifestyle, but they're never attacked and say, oh, look at you, you can't afford this, or look at you, you can't do this. Most people say and do it. When people are bottom of the pyramid, they have to take their frustrations out on somebody. Why do people who are more categorically blessed in the place, beauty, money, status, intelligence, why they're attacked more? Because people know they cannot get to the top of that pyramid. So I want you guys to think about this pyramid thing. This video is probably going to piss off a lot of people because this, the notion of equality doesn't exist. Some people will always have more than everybody else. More does not just mean money. More can be conventionally more beautiful, more intelligent more gifted ability to travel they will always just have more just because genetically they're wired that way 
They may have had privilege growing up. They may just naturally be blessed when they come in the world. Not everybody is. So if you truly, truly want to have, find personal success, and personal success is not what people consider successful, it's what you consider success in the world, you need to make a little chart in your head and ask yourself what goes on that pyramid, what, what is actually on that pyramid, and then make a decision on the areas you want to work in. And I promise you, people around you will notice that and they'll make comments on it.